In this video, we're going to be looking at EV or expected value. We learn how to calculate this and how we can use it to make better investment and business decisions. So EV is used to calculate the average return of a potential opportunity. We calculate it by working out the return and the chances of each possible outcome. So with a coin toss, for example, we toss a coin and there's a 50-50 chance of it coming down heads or tails. Now, if it's heads, we win. If it's tails, we lose. So we either lose a dollar or we win a dollar. Therefore, a 50% times minus one and 50% times plus one, add them two values together and we get an EV of zero. It's neither positive or negative. If we toss the coin enough times, our return on investment will be flat. In a business or investment scenario, there's likely to be more variables that need to be taken into account. If you're going to invest in a stock or share, it may be that that stock or share does well, but a stock market fails, or the company just may not gain traction or build business revenues in line with growth estimations. There's a lot of different things that can happen, and we can look at how that would affect the share price, the likelihood of them results occurring, and from that calculate a more detailed expected value of that share. We can then use the current share price to decide whether that is a good or bad investment. We also need to take into account that while some investments may be positive EV, the frequency or the correlation with other assets in your portfolio may be so that it doesn't, it's still not worth investing. When calculating EV, we can either do a detailed analysis or we can do mental arithmetic to work out a ballpark figure. For this, I like to use ROI or return on investment. If as a company you spend $100 and you make back $120, your ROI is 20. If you lose that $100, your ROI is minus 100. In a business scenario, you might not always have time to write down and do a detailed analysis. For this, I like to use ROI or return on investment figures alongside estimated chances of their outcomes. And this will give me a, a rough estimate of what the EV would be. So let's look at a quick example of a roulette wheel. A European roulette wheel has 37 numbers. It has 18 red, 18 black, and one green zero. If we bet on, bet on red or black, we have an 18 to 37 chance of that outcome happening. This is just below 50%, 48.65%. The odds are paid out one to one. So the opposite is also true that we have a 51.35% chance of losing our stake. We would calculate the EV as minus 0.5135 plus positive 0.4865. And we get the EV of 0.027. This means that for every dollar we bet on roulette, we're losing 2.7 cents every spin, or the house edge is 2.7%. So to wrap this up, EV or expected value is a calculation of the average outcome of future events. It can be calculated by multiplying the possible return of each outcome, multiplied by the chance of that outcome happening. So for a toy cost, where there's a 50-50 chance of winning or losing, $1, our calculation would be minus one times 50% plus plus one times 50% equals zero EV.